Mode set. Executing. What's up gamers, it's your boy CDROM1019, welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island Trial of Execution of Guybrush Threepwood. Alright, so let's see if we can knock out another one of these charges and then we'll have to think about uh, our last one sitting around here. Who go oh, it's you. Uh, hey, so I'd like to go back to court. Return to court to defend my clients. Alrighty then, let's find Judge Grindstump. Pirate Court of Flotsam Island is... Yes, yes, get on with it! I appear to have an electromagnetic monkey. Um, I'd like to call uh, Hemlock back. I'd like to call Hemlock McGee back to the stand. Hem I'm right here. <laughs> I'd like to remind... Yeah, yeah, I'm still under oath. So... Can I use... Your Honor, pirates and assorted buccaneers, Hemlock McGee has asserted that it was I, Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate, that brought about the horrible emotional scars that even now leave poor Miss Pretty Whiskers paralyzed with fear. But I put it to you that it was not your humble defendant who traumatized Hemlock's unfortunate feline, but a far more insidious assailant, the one who's in this very courtroom as I speak. Jacques, Jacques the monkey. What? Objection, there's no evidence of monkey play here. No, let's ask the victim. <laughs> Miss Pretty Whiskers! <laughs> Miss Pretty Whiskers is up and about and seeking revenge just like a good pirate cat should. Miss Pretty Whiskers, come <laughs> back! <laughs> we'll get our revenge together. Your Honor, I rest my case. Mr. Prosecutor! Well, considering that my client and evidence just ran out the door, I guess old Stan's gonna have to drop this one. Good idea! In the case of McGee and Pretty Whiskers versus Threepwood, the Pirate Court of Flotsam finds in favor of the defendant, Guy Brush Threepwood! Come on, Judge, get him with the pots! Don't make me send the bailiff <coughs> up there! Alright, that's three down. So, I want to take a look at this plate here. That empty nacho plate is making me hungry. So, can I start tinkering with this plate? Let's see. That's greasy enough as it is. Uh... Hot manatee oil is a precious resource. I shouldn't splash it around all willy-nilly. Hmm. I know I'm onto something with these uh, shot glasses, but... Uh, I don't think I should be splashing molten glass on that. I just can't remember what these are for. I mean, I know I need to use these to prove the burn, but I thought that I have to mix them together. I was certain of it. It's molten glass. Inside a glass. Trippy. Grease is the word. Or is the bird. So I can't just pour these on... I don't want to waste my last Blood Island Volcano shot on that. Hmm. It's an esophagus scarring Blood Island volcano shot. Icky. Hard to believe that nacho sauce could do that. Yeah, it can't. That's the problem. Just can't remember how to how to mix these fluids together. <clears throat> Alright, let's take some time here. Uh, I'd like to call a witness. I'll call myself. Your Honor, I'd like to call Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, to the stand. Guybrush Threepwood! I'm right here. Oh, right. Do you swear on Blackbeard's log to tell the truth to the best of your ability as a grog-swilling, backstabbing pirate? Ooh, what's this log made of? Calf leather? You just can't find craftsmanship like this these days. <coughs> oh, I do. Uh, okay. Captain Sheepgood. Reapwood. Ah, yes. Shreveport. Reapwood. Greensleeves. Reapwood. Treebeard? The Reap. Sleepwood. Stack. Objection. Defense is stalling. The defense will get on with it! Or the court will order his name legally changed to Captain Guts for Daughters! <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, I can 
do that to make the judge angry. So, can I just calling myself not for anything? I'd like to recall myself to the stand. Well, the witness nope. is reminded that he is still under oath. Uh, okay. What's your impression of the plaintiff's case? Captain Threepwood, what's your impression? <laughs> Objection, Your Honor. The witness is making a mockery of this court. Were these magic grits? In that operating room, I am God. A dingo ate me baby. You can't handle the truth. There's something on the wing. The defense sees this silliness at once, or the court will knock your benighted heads together. <laughs> I know I'm just wasting time, but... <laughs> I'll call Kyber's three bud. Call myself to the stand. Well, get on with it. The witness is reminded that he is still under oath. Where was I on the uh... Captain Threepwood? Where were you on the night of August fifteenth? I was on a date with your wife. Why you? <laughs> You're dead, Threepwood. Okay. As amusing as that was. Right. Where were we? Okay. Anyway, uh I'll call Krebs. I'd like to recall Bosun Krebs to the stand. Catherine Krebs. Now remember, darling, you're still under oath. I so Miss Krebs. You're lying, aren't you? You're lying about this whole nacho business, aren't you? Nay, are you lying about being a mighty pirate? I'll ask the questions here. <laughs> Come on, you're lying. Admit it. No. Objection, Your Honor. Defense is badgering the witness. Knock it off, three pod. <sighs> okay. Um, just a moment. Just a moment, Your Honor. <sighs> There's something to this plate. Hey, hard tech. Defense will refrain oh, right. from addressing the bailiff in open court. Sorry. Sorry. Nacho sauce? Bruh, I bet she got burned by the devilish stuff that's oozing out of Desinja's lab. So, I have that. Bosun Krebs, you don't really expect this court to believe that the nacho sauce I allegedly spilled onto your leg from this platter actually scarred your leg, do you? Ah, but it did. See for yourself. Um, so, the corrosive fluid, let's see, or caustic fluid. I don't want to pour acid on that. It could get scarred, or worse, acid washed. I can't just present that fluid to her, can I? Your Honor, I'd like to introduce this caustic agent into evidence as an alternative cause of Bosun Catherine's burns. Oh yeah? Prove it. Objection. Defense is trying to cloud the issue. Sustained! Captain Threepwood, if you have an alternate theory as to the cause of the bosun's horrific injury, do the court the courtesy of fleshing it out before introducing random cups of bubbling goo into evidence! <sighs> okay, what about... Your Honor, I'd like to introduce this caustic agent into evidence Whoops. as an alternative cause of Bosun Catherine's burns. Oh yeah, prove it. Object. Sustained. Wait a minute. Uh, so is she gonna say? Are they gonna say that to everything I present? Your Honor, I'd like to introduce. Yeah, oh, yeah. caustic agent. Okay. Sustained. Okay. Um. Hmm. This is a problem, and I'm pretty sure I'm still missing a shot glass of something. Just don't know what yet. Pirate code. Stinkbeard's common laws for common pirates. Laws? Pirates don't need no stinking laws. Fine, then we'll proceed with the execution. Uh, on the other hand, 
maybe I could use a few good laws right now. Hmm. Okay, I... Uh... There was one whale of a fender bender while the winds were blowing out. That's why I always sail defensively and carry state arm insurance. State arm. That's funny joke. All right. Um. Okay, well, call a recess, I guess. Your Honor, I'd like to call a recess to confer with my client. Bailiff, please escort Captain Threeport to the brig. Aye, aye, Your Honor. All right, I'm still pretty certain that I'm missing another agent. I just don't know what it is yet. I'd like to talk to my client. I'd like to return to court to defend my client. All righty then. Let's find Judge Grindstone. The pirate court of Frost Oops. Island. Oops. I yes, yes, get wasn't paying attention. It. I clicked the wrong one. Uh, recess, please. Sorry. Your Honor, I'd like to call a recess to confer with my client. Bailiff, please escort Captain Threeport to the brig. Aye, aye, Your Honor. So, I got the shot glass. Uh, let's see. I think there are still one, there is still one to find. Um, uh, you know what? Hey, guard, what do you want? Uh, see my lawyer. I want to see my lawyer. Again? Not getting any smarter. Okay, so I've got four of the five. Let's actually go back to Club 41. Maybe I missed something in there. Hmm. Oh, of course. I wonder what happened to Murray. The hot wax. How did I miss that? Nothing like a little hot wax on a cold, flotsam night. Okay. I've got five cups filled. So, now the question is, how do I mix these all together? Hmm. Well. Oh, you know what? Right. So, that leg that I said I might need... So, you know what my mistake is? My mistake is trying to test the theory inside the courtroom, but what if I tested it outside of the courtroom and then brought it, brought the result into the court? And here's a leg right here I can use. Alright. Whoops! Hey! Arr. Now look what you did! Clumsy clam clipper, you ruined me prototype. Now I'll have to start all over. Arr. So if it's messed up, can I have it? Fine, take it. Just get out of me sight. Arr. This ought to help me get a leg up in the trial. Maybe I'll just because I'm curious. I want to see if I can reproduce the uh, the effect inside the court. That should be the last thing I need, though. Who got? Oh, it's you. Like to return to court. I'd like to return to court to defend my client. All righty then. Let's find Judge Grindstone. The pirate court of Flotsam Island is. Yes, yes. <coughs> get on with it. I'd like to recall Bosun Krebs to the stand. Catherine Krebs. Now remember, darling, you're still under oath. I. All right. Here we go. Mm. Wait a minute. Oh. oh, I can keep hitting it? That's interesting. Won't really do anything, but I could. Okay. Uh huh. Now, it's green, so I don't think this is going to work, but I just want to try it anyway. If I want to introduce that as evidence, I should spring it on a witness. Your Honor, I'd like to enter this leg-shaped lamp into evidence. <coughs> Bosun Krebs was not, in fact, scalded by Club 41's nacho sauce. What with that burn? 
It's not even the same color as my burn, see? I'm not allowing that leg lamp into evidence until it's got a burn that at least matches the color of the plaintiff's scar. Hmm. It was worth a try. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's just use it all then. Oh, I already did the manatee oil. Hot grease. Uh, maybe I didn't do the manatee oil. Uh... Oh, interesting. Um... And now it's black. Okay. Uh, alright, so the trick is... I guess I really probably didn't need all five of these. I guess I just need to make this purple. Uh, so... Blue. Whoop. And then... Red. Wait, no, red. Uh, okay, it's purple now, but it's the wrong shape. Um... Ugh. Now it's green. Ugh, for crying out loud. Oh, this is awful. Okay. I'm starting to think that there's a particular way I need to do this. So, I've got it black, so... Um... So, the molten glass returns it to a black blob. Hmm. I could just keep mixing this around with this. Parrot-shaped burn. Now it's green. That's not what green... <sighs> Red and blue aren't supposed to make green. That's stupid. <sighs> Come on, man. Alright, well... Let's add the caustic fluid. Okay. Blood Island Volcano Shot. Yeah, now it's a skull. So wait a minute. So now I should just have to add the wax because the wax is blue. And there we go. So what was the Manitou Oil for? So out of all these, the Manatee Oil is the use most useless. I needed to put the Molten Glass on the leg to make the black burn. And then I needed the Blood, the blood Shot, the... Uh, the grease and the caustic fluid, but not the manatee oil. All right. Anyway. Your Honor, I'd like to introduce this leg lamp into evidence <coughs> as proof that Bosun Catherine Krebs is lying about her so-called nacho sauce burn. This proves nothing. Objection, Your Honor. The scars on this leg-shaped lamp may look like my clients, but who knows how they got there? I'm glad you asked. So you see, Your Honor, Catherine's distinctive burns were not caused by Club 41's nacho sauce, but by an unlikely combination of scalding fluids found throughout Flotsam Island. Isn't that true, Bosun Krebs? Answer the question, <laughs> you she-devil! It's true. After Guybrush knocked that platter of nachos onto my lap, I saw my chance for revenge and concocted this foolish scheme. Revenge? You still don't remember me? The woman whose ship you sunk? Who spent years languishing in prison for your crimes? The woman whose husband you humiliated in that creepy karaoke contest? Nope. Sorry. No, I don't Not remember like. you at all. Arr! Your Honor, I move that Bosun Catherine Krebs's charge be dropped. Counselor? I got nothing, Your Honor. Very well. <coughs> In the matter of Krebs versus Threepwood, the Pirate Court of Flotsam Island finds in favor of the defendant Guy Brush Threepwood. Force, 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 force,
Congratulations, Captain Threeboard. It appears that you have successfully gotten yourself out from under your various civil charges. Shiver me timbers, Stumpy. I guess I'll be going now. Hold on, what's this? There appears to be a criminal charge on the other side of this blasted paper. Huh? Assault with molten nacho cheese isn't criminal? What else is there? The creation, incubation, dissemination, proliferation, and mastication of a pox or pox-like affliction. A class one felonious act here on Flux. Oh, gross. How do you plead? Hmm, uh, not guilty? Not guilty. On what grounds? Um... The pox isn't my fault. The pox isn't my fault. It's LeChuck's. It all started with the cursed cutlass of Kaflu. Off the rock of gelato, LeChuck was doing something evil with monkeys, and I was all brrr. But then LeChuck broke my root beer bottle, and I had to substitute some of the voodoo lady's ingredients, and then LeChuck turned into a human, and all this voodoo went boom, and... Well, it's not my fault. Your Honor, the defendant is hand-waving. And believe me, I know from hand-waving. But seriously, we all know that the cloud of pox vexing this fair island arrived soon after the defendant and his oozing appendage crept upon these shores. Disgustifying it was. Then, after infecting everyone in sight, the pox cloud magically blew away at exactly the same moment that Guybrush sailed away, stealing Flotsam's only ship, I might add. I won that ship, fair and square. Now, Threepwood has returned, and so has the Cloud of Pox. What a coincidence. And yet here he stands concocting fanciful stories of a human lechuk, voodoo cutlasses, and a so-called rock of gelato. Well, Threepwood, do you have any witnesses to your unlikely tale? I do. She's... <gasps> Wonder Bunny. Blubbering belugas, I'm sucking your port. Bring me all your spoiled swags, booty and booty. Lane, wonder more bunny, please. And you, me bunny lass, step into me captain's quarters and let me ravish you. Oh boy! Oh, to finally hold you in me arms. Uh, Malane, wow. It makes me want to. <laughs> What's this? The scent of betrayal? Who is this tawdry witch? Uh, nobody. No one. She'll die by me rusty bell! There's my witness. Then she must be summoned. Bailiff, serve the woman immediately. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, you'd better be using the voodoo summons. That saucy sea hag doesn't look like she be respecting the customs of pirate law. Aye, aye, sir. But first, hold the defendant's pox spreading keister back to the brig. I'm late. All right, you. <sighs> Stay put until I summon your ball and chain. Um, I wouldn't call her that. She. Oh, my. Oof. Take exception. Yep. What happened to you? Oh, I'll tell you what happened. I went to Club 41 to hand his summons to your better half, and she backhanded me right out of the bar. Oh. Mm. Ouch. I better go have a word you with her. that banshee on the stand, you're going to have to serve her yourself. It is pretty amusing to hear uh, Elaine talk like that about Guybrush, because she's never been like that. She's always been very strong-willed. Can fix me jawbone. What the? Oh, oh ladies' night. Guybrush, your wife has lost her mind. And you're about to lose a limb, you sea cow. Elaine, sugar cakes. Let's stop fighting and work this out over a nice cold light grog. It's her head or yours, bilge boy. Or you two can just figure out this little misunderstanding on your own. I'll be over here appreciating my head's ability to stay attached to my neck. 
Uh huh. Well, what's this? Hmm, a recipe for something called a Fat Island Fuzzy Nostril. Might need that. Mm. Oh, hey, Krebs. Hey, Krebs. What do you want? Are you upset about the trial? You're not upset about the trial, are you? Why would I possibly be upset by the fact that I hideously disfigured myself in a quest for long-delayed vengeance, only to have it cruelly snatched away at the last moment? Uh, about your quest. About your quest for vengeance? I'm afraid I still don't remember you. You don't remember? How could you forget how you sank me Marlin hunting ship off the coast of Snark Island? Or the time you framed me for mopery on Wurfling Shars? Unless I've taken too many blows to the head, I'm pretty sure I've never been to any of those places or done any of those things. Well, you may not remember Bolt and Catherine C. Krebs, but you can be sure that there'll always be a black mark next to the name of Guybrush Q. Threepwood. Uh, that's not me, lady. Did you say Guybrush Q. Threepwood? Aye, and a fowler name never escaped me lips. But it's the wrong name. I'm Guybrush U. Threepwood. What? Yeah, your vendetta must be with the other Guybrush Threepwood. I should have realized. You know, this isn't the first time something like this has happened. I keep getting his mail, too. Uh, are you still upset? You're not still upset about the whole hideously oh. scarring your leg in a bid to seek unholy vengeance against the wrong target thing, are you? Yeah, you're still mad about it. Uh, did it hurt? Tell me. Did it hurt? Did what hurt? When you fell out of pirate heaven. No, but this will. Stay away from Guybrush, you sea hog! Worth. Oh, Morgan, you're defending my honor. How nice of you. Heh. <laughs> Hmm, now they're over here. Ladies. Morgan, what do you think you're doing? Uh, don't ask me. Ask your crazy wife. I'm gonna run you through, you high seas hussy. Ladies, please. There's plenty of Guybrush Threepwood to go around. Well, that won't be when I'm done with ya. Get over yourself, Threepwood. Yikes. Okay, bad idea. Uh, you don't have to fight. Fight like girls. We kill like them too. Arr. Yikes. Uh. Lady, please. Oh yeah, I said that already. Yikes. Um. Think you're losing your edge, Morgan. Morgan, I think you're losing your edge. I'll show you an edge. Whoa. Elaine. You should know that Morgan and I spent a few nights together inside of a manatee. Inside of a what? Oh. Uh, um. You're a dog, Guybrush Streetwood! Ah! Wow, Morgan. You're pretty handy with a sword. Is that so? What else is she handy with? Uh, um. <laughs> oh, this is amusing. Um. Alright, can you two work it out, please? Can you two just work it out over a nice glockatini? Threepwood is buying me a drink? Over your dead body, Trollop! Who oh. are you calling Trollop sooner, Mom? Oh, boy. Okay. <sighs> Morgan, that... Not how you should have put that. Um, okay. Okay, I'm gonna go think of something clever. Try not to kill each other while I'm away. Arr. Yeah! Hmm. Um... Honey. Hey, darling? Would you mind taking this? Only if you don't mind taking this! <sighs> okay, well... I've got an idea about what I can try next. Hey, WP. Hey, WP. Um... Would you mind knocking it off with the darts for a minute? Not on your life! I need to get in a week's worth of practice before tomorrow night's tournament. <coughs> and who knows how long those aliens will stay out of my way. Looks like ladies' night is picked up a bit. Picked up a little too much for my taste. These she-beasts have scared away all the eligible hard-drinking, hard-spending pirate bachelors. 
Hmm. Huh. Well, things have gotten a little hairy, I'd say. Uh, a lot more to do, though. And I guess WP found all his darts. That's cool. Let's pick this up later. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Make sure you check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun. And be sure to check out myself at twitch.tv slash chaos control channel. And I'll see you next week for more uh, Tales of Monkey Island. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.